video is actually going to be a quick video. I thought I would come on and do the blush tag for you guys. So if you guys would like to see which ones I will pick out for this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so there is 12 questions to this tag. The first one is, what color suits you most? And I chose between um, pinky tones and mauvey tones. Anything brown I'm not too into. It just doesn't look right on me. Question number two, do you prefer pressed cream or loose? And the answer to that is pressed. I can't stand cream blushes, and I don't like loose blush. All right, question number three, what is your favorite shimmery blush? And I have to give it to CoverGirl. This is their True Blend in Medium Rose. I really do like this, and it's not glittery. It does have a sheen to it. It's very, very pretty, and it's so soft. And it looks like that very very pretty and in the light you do get more of a sheen but I really really do love this blush and it's affordable since it's drugstore the next question is your favorite matte blush and I don't have any of these in the singles I actually only have this in the set and this is going to be Tarte's Trustworthy and it came in um, a limited edition palette from Tarte and this one right here this first one here is called Trustworthy it's this nice pretty shade and it's so soft and it's very nice it's a nice peachy tone it goes good for spring and summer and I absolutely love it all right next question is favorite cream blush and I think I kind of went over this in the beginning I don't have a favorite cream blush because I don't like cream blushes Alright, next one is your favorite drugstore blush. And right now, I just recently found this one about a month a month or two ago. And this one's from Physician's Formula. And this is in the shade Plum Rose. And I absolutely love it. This is definitely one that is a favorite. And this one, I'm not going to lie. It smells so good. It smells like a pina colada and, you know banana boat sunscreen just like the the bronzer that they came out with and it's a nice mauvey pink tone that I really really like and this is also a shade you can wear spring and summer and it's drugstore a little bit higher end for drugstore but it is drugstore all right next shade or next question is favorite high-end blush and also for the bomb I don't have their blush singles but I do have, I think this is a holiday edition one, and this one is going to be in Cabana Boy, and it's this one right here, and it is stunning. I love these. These are so buttery and creamy. I mean, they're just, they're gorgeous, and these do have quite a bit of a sheen to them, but they are very, very pretty. I honestly, it was very hard to choose, but I really love this blush. All right, next one, my favorite bright blush. I actually got this one, um, and I think it was a boxy charm. So when Makeup Geek actually went and redid their packaging, and this is for their blush. I got stuff on this. I love this, and this one's in the shade XOXO, and it looks like this. Now it doesn't look too bright on camera, but let me tell you, this thing is pigmented, and if you are not careful. You will definitely use too much. Just a light hand and you get quite a bit. And it is very pretty. You can share it out. And that's what I would suggest. This is definitely pigmented. I would use a light hand. And if you have to build up, then go, go ahead. Because once you have your face done and you apply some of that too heavy, you're really going to have to redo your face. Just say it. All right, next question, question number nine. Biggest disappointment or regret? Now, I just showed you one that I absolutely love and I'm gonna show you one that I didn't really care for. Also from Physicians Formula, this is their Butter Blonde Bronzer, or Blush. See what, see what I got myself doing? Um, their Blush in Natural Glow. And it smells the same and it looks stunning in the pan. The issue I have with this is that it's actually even way too light for me to use it as a blush I have to use this as a highlighter and for the prices of these I think they're like $13.99 for me to pay that for you know 
I mean, it's pretty as a highlighter. You could use it as a blush topper if you wanted to, but I was really expecting something else. So, yeah. It's nice, but it's not what I expected for a blush. All right. Number 10, best packaging. And this one I've mentioned, but, you know, once you see the packaging, I mean, it's kind of a given, is the Makeup Geek. It is a mirrored, almost, um, rose gold packaging, but I really, really do like this. It's small enough to where you could put it in your purse. It is magnetic, and it has a mirror inside. I just, I like it. So, I mean, you can throw it in your purse if you absolutely need to. All right, number 11, what is your on your blush wish list? I'm going to post a picture because obviously since it's a um, wish list item, I don't have it here. And Benefit just came out with a new cheek parade, and it is stunning. They have the Rocketeur. I do believe they have the pink dandelion in there. Um, they have the new Hula Light Bronzer, which I heard is exceptional. Um, they also added in the California blush that looks absolutely stunning. And I have a feeling I'm missing one, and I can't think of it right at the top of my head. But you will see it in the picture. Um, but I've heard nothing good. Uh, I've always heard good things about the um, Benefit br uh, blushes, but I've just never tried them. I'm actually looking at a picture of it now. So it looks like they have um, the Hula, the original Hula, and the Hula Light. The Dandelion Rocketeur in California, and they just look so pretty. Um, I do believe it's like $59, though, but I do like it. Okay, last question. The number one Holy Grail blush. Now, this one is Drugstore, and I really like this one, too. Great for spring and summer. It is Wet n' Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. And just look at that. I love the fact that it is an ombre effect. It just go from a light to a darker peach, and they are just beautiful swirled together. Let's see. And I actually wore this to church on Sunday, and I really, really love this shade. I have a lot of compliments on my blush, and most of the time I'm wearing drugstore. I'm not, I do like high end, it's just, you know. My heart belongs to the drugstore. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a happy, blessed, and safe Easter. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.